Hi guys, is it a bit hard to see me? Well, yes, me too, because it's raining. But I've got a little magic trick. Do you want the rain to stop? Well, just click your fingers in three, two, one. See, it worked. Isn't that fantastic? That rain just reminded me of monsoons. And monsoon comes from the Arabic word called mulsum, which means seasons. So a monsoon is basically the wind direction from the sea to the land or from the land to the sea. We are talking about from the sea to the land right now and that is called a wet monsoon or a summer monsoon. A wet monsoon is when sea water needs any liquid needs to have more time to heat up than any solid. This is one way of telling how monsoons happen. So seawater takes more time to heat up and that also puts a difference in the air temperature. So the air is colder and cold air stays low. And then in the land, it takes less time for it to heat up. And the same factor with the sea goes to the land. So it's hotter. So the opposite of what happened to the cold air, it goes up. And that means there'll be a vacuum, this large space where there'll be no air, so nothing can survive. And just to stop that, the cold air rushes in to take its place. And there we go, that's how wind happens. But the other big thing is that the colder air is full of water, full of tiny, tiny molecules of water. And that means it'll get heavier and heavier the way it goes because it can't ha carry all that water. Imagine carrying an entire bucket of water around the park. That'd be difficult. And it's the same for the clouds. And then when it can't hold it any longer, it just, boom, drops it. And all of it comes down as a lot of rain. And that's how a wet monsoon happens. A wet monsoon is very important because it help, helps hydroelectric dams in India run and that gives India most of its power. It also tries to water crops but sometimes it can make a monsoon happen too more aggressively and that can wash away crops, make mudslides and landslides happen which can destroy houses, take away lives and as well, maybe even destroy entire villages. Imagine that. And one thing that is really delightful about wet monsoons is that they're a natural purifier. So all of our sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, which are really bad for the ozone layer, all get rained down and they're natural air purifiers. How great is that? And now we're moving on to dry monsoons or winter monsoons. It might be really hard to think of a winter of winter in India is really warm. But yes, because India is close to the equator and monsoons normally happen in places which are very close to the equator. Just like South Asia and Africa along with a few other countries and this is how a, a dry monsoon happens it happens when the land is colder than the sea that means the sea the air on top of the sea makes a pocket that means it goes higher into the air and then all the colder air from the land rushes in to take its place the exact opposite and that is how well wind from the land comes to the sea. How simple is that? That's how wind happens. And it also is how a monsoon happens. So the wind that's happening right now also could affect the entire world. We may not know for sure, but probably the way the wind goes could impact the rest of our future generation forever. So please, Always be considerate and kind that we have this world. Always look after it. Understand. Imagine if all the land is heated up so much that there's a huge pocket and all of the sea, all of the cold.
colder sea air gets rushed into its place. There'll be an endless monsoon of cold air rushing into the place of the pocket. That means there would be flooding. There'll be the destroying of crops. And maybe even the world could flood into an endless ball of water. We're only creatures that have, des have been designed to live in water could ever try to survive or maybe even thrive. So we need to protect this stratosphere. It's the last layer of defence of our lethal sun, which can destroy the earth, but it also made life happen. So I believe we need to make a difference to this world. So please save the animals and make sure the earth looks beautiful. And never forget, monsoons, rain are a big difference. Try to keep this world how it is for generations and generations more.